here we have today's weapon of choice Fujifilm X100F Hey what's up guys welcome to another video today I'm doing another street photography video I'm in Tampa again tonight I'm gonna be shooting mainly in Acros or in I'll switch a little bit to uh, classic chrome and I'll talk a little bit more about my settings as I go through. Let's go ahead and take a walk and see what's going on in the city. And then I might even approach a few people and ask them for their portraits, so we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount the uh, GoPro up top here. And I'll vlog as I've done in the past with the GoPro from this. All right, so one of the problems I'm having is the shutter speed. I'll need to freeze my, my, my shot, but I'm gonna have to increase the ISO to 6400. And to be honest with you, I haven't shot in 6400 ISO on this camera that much, but we'll see how they turn out. Let's see if I take one right here. Get a shot right like there. Oh, that was cool, man. So really quick, um, this camera has a, a built-in ND filter, and I had it on on my very first shot because I was like, why? Why am I not being able to uh, get the shutter speed higher? I just checked it, readjusted my settings. I'm on my auto three settings, which is minimum of 200 ISO, maximum 3200. And it has the uh, minimum shutter speed, of, I set it to 200. So we'll play it by, by, by the lighting and, and adjust accordingly. And it's kind of dead out here. I need more, like more action, believe it or not. Just, let's keep it moving. Let's see if I can get a shot of here of this building. I want to see if I can catch some people walking my way. I've been standing here for about three minutes and nobody's crossed the street this way. Everybody's going that way. breaking out over here. Somebody's getting arrested tonight. He just got his ass slammed on the ground over there. I don't know if it came out on the on video here, but we're gonna keep it moving. street photography she's like I don't play it off sometimes you just can't play it off when you're doing street photography so we just made a real quick stop here at this bar hang out for a little bit I don't think I'm gonna do any photography in here obviously uh, I don't want to get in trouble or anything but we'll pick up in just a moment after I throw this little brew down 
hope you guys can hear me. If you're wondering why I'm always in this part of Tampa, it's because there's a lot of activity around here, but I do like coming down here for street photography. Let me know down in the comments what part of town you guys like shooting at. And uh, I don't know if I'm ever in town, I may, I may check it out. We got the uh, Tampa or Ybor City trolley, whatever you call it. Tampa trolley. I'm gonna see if I can get some sort of shot right here. Right there. Alright, that's one of the problems when you don't know your camera at or you're not used to using your camera. I just try to slow the shutter there. I turned the dial and I thought I had it like down to like 15, but it was actually on 60. So that shot, I don't think I got that, that blur that I wanted in it. Anyways, there's a sign down here that says Centro Ibor. I'll see if I can make a picture down here somehow. Let me even see if I can frame it that way. Let's see right here. Just gotta be careful because here are the uh, tracks of the trolley and it goes up and down here. So always be careful when you're doing, uh, when you're shooting. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong camera. Always be careful of your surroundings. It's not worth getting hit by a car or, or killed for that matter for a shot. Get a shot of this guy right here. Take a shot of right here. Right here. guys I told I completely failed I didn't uh, bring my second battery for my Fuji and this one wasn't at 100% when I started filming so the battery's at the car I'm just gonna call it a night we'll see how this video turns out comment down below let me know what you guys think all right guys back at the house uh, actually been a few days since I last filmed that last clip but like I just told you guys there I forgot my spare battery in the car and so the vlog was getting a little long in, in my opinion anyways I did I took plenty of shots so I was pretty happy I uh, had a great time uh, and, and you know and that's one of the more important things that I try to do in these vlogs uh, I just try to have a, a lot of fun making them and I hope you guys uh, are enjoying them let me know what you guys think of the the, the shots that I captured in this one uh, loving the uh, Fuji X100F uh, I mentioned the, at the beginning of the vlog that I was gonna try to take some shots at 6400 I ended up setting my max ISO to 3200 and uh, I think I'm just afraid to shoot that at that high of an ISO simply because I used to shoot with uh, Micro Four Thirds and I and I would always avoid shooting that high uh, with my Micro Four Thirds cameras but uh, from what I've seen uh, shots that I've taken with this camera aside from making uh, you know shooting in these vlogs at ISO 6400 uh, the images are very uh, usable and the uh, image quality is fantastic so uh, I think I'm gonna start just you know letting it letting it go up to uh, 6400 and shooting more uh, that way when I need to uh, but yeah hope you guys like the vlog uh, let me know if you uh, have any questions any constructive feedback is always appreciated give me a like if you like the video I'd appreciate it if you're new around here uh, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next vlog thanks for uh, stopping by see you in the next one Peace, guys. <laughs>